Greetings. Um, I'd like to uh, today. I'd like to uh, ha give a little uh, motion tracking demonstration that I did um, back a, uh, quite a ways back. But I took another look at it and uh, improved it. Uh, it's really just a demonstration at this point. Uh, what it does is it uh, demonstrate motion menus. Uh, which I did use on uh, my uh, Sonic Track and a few other programs. Uh, I've done a little bit more work on them. Uh, they now uh, reside in a function. Uh, uh, the program's called PokePi, uh, PokeMe, and uh, it was originally the concept was that I would take like the the Pokemon um, iOS or uh, Android app. Uh, and uh, use camera tracking to have uh, objects out of the camera view and you would move the camera and uh, uh, find these uh, virtual objects in the, in the screen view. So I needed a way to put graphics in the, on, on the screen and be able to move them around or position them or whatever in the OpenCV uh, video stream. So uh, this is kind of the precursor of that. Uh, this program, lately I've been uh, rewriting uh, my GitPod uh, programs to be uh, Windows and uh, uh, Unix compatible uh, as well as Raspberry Pi, which is of course Unix, but uh, it's running under Raspbian, which is a uh, Variation of Debian, so, uh, so but it'll run on uh, on non Raspberry Pi Unix systems as well, and uh, I've had a few people ask, like my speed camera uh, and several other apps, whether they would run. So uh, I've been doing that lately. Um, at any rate, if you're on a Raspberry Pi, uh, you can install this. By uh, from the GitHub by copying this uh, curl uh, curl command. And then paste it in. It'll install the various uh, pieces. That's about it. Goes pretty quick. Um, all the variables for this program are stored within uh, within the program, uh, not in a separate configuration file. So, uh, what I've done, I'll I'll demonstrate this running under Windows. Uh, it's running under Idle. Now, if you're going to run it under Windows, uh, I would recommend uh, following the link for uh, Python to install the latest version of Python and. Uh, it uh, it has NumPy included in it and uh, um, a later version of uh, OpenCV, so it will make it a lot easier. So uh, we'll just run this module. So it'll track the uh, the x y coordinates, and it's probably hiding behind here somewhere. Here it is. Okay, so. Uh, in here you've got a setup menu. So if I go up here, uh, I can do uh, play. So I can move this uh, graphic around. And so that was the idea that uh, that happened to be just a little uh, character I've got here for a little bobblehead of uh, Sheldon. Okay, so um, then we can just press uh, M to get back to the menu. If I go over here to uh, Setup, you'll get a little uh, screen here. And what we'll do is we'll put a little character in there. Okay, so now we've got uh, this other little... Uh, character and that's about it um, and we'll take you back to the menu 
Uh, really, it doesn't do anything at this point. I was uh, I was mainly concentrating on the sort of the infrastructure. So the menu works by uh, hit counts. It'll take a second for that to uh, close down. The stream takes a uh, has to time out. But uh, that's about it. Um, uh, the the code is uh, up on GitHub, and uh, if you're if you're looking for uh, Uh, some sample code to uh, clip graphics images out. Um, the way the menus work, I've got a menu make and uh, the menu data is uh, the position and size of the menus. So in here uh, each menu has its it positions the, the square rectangle or the rectangle that would be the XY coordinate of the top left corner of the uh, of the menu box then the medium width which uh, up here I think is 200 pixels and the menu height which is 75 pixels and the title that you want that and uh, and what you do is you hit a menu counter a menu hit counter so that uh, it's set to eight. So you have it has to see eight consecutive motions in that menu, and that's pretty well the way it works. Um, so down here, I've set up families of menus. So the main menu would be uh, the the uh, set up, the play, and the quit. And then you just look for those, and uh, and uh, do the corresponding uh, actions. So if you go into setup, it uh, it it uh, it's looking for the menu counter to be exceeded, and then uh, uh, puts you into the uh, appropriate uh, uh, menu. In this case, it's. Uh, uh, either exiting or playing so it sets play equal true and then uh, it'll come down here the next cycle comes down it's looking for uh, the uh, menu play uh, and here's where I uh, you know, you clip the image and, and uh, continue the operation so right now there's not really uh, a whole lot to it so it's basically just demonstration code but uh, I thought I would uh, uh, give you uh, just a taste of, of uh, what I'm currently working on. And uh, so that'll, that's about it. Um, so thanks for watching. And uh, if you're interested, uh, take a look at it on GitHub. Bye-bye for now.